All right, and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and also on YouTube if you're watching this video later. Um, for our last deck of the day here, we got some Grixis Control. So this was a donation deck uh, to play. Um, so, you know, so donation decks, of course, are not decks that necessarily that I put together. And this was one that, that I didn't, but it looks pretty interesting. So I'm glad that we have a donation deck here. The person that, that uh, donated for this deck, you can tell, has been playing Grixis Control a bunch. And they said as much, um, like with like the all of like the weird numbers in the deck, uh, this kind of like control deck um, where you have a bunch of cards that are pretty situational um you know it's not it's not weird to say to see people that uh played a bunch to move away from for this for that for that and towards a lot of like uh small you know smaller numbers so like you know syncopate we got two of those as in scatter we got two we got one negate you know like at at sometimes you really want negate sometimes you really want scatter sometimes you want syncopate and you know we just kind of have like a a combination of them and hope our our counter spell lines up with what we want at the time. Um, yeah, I, I'm not a huge fan of Syncopate myself, but, you know, it has its uses. Uh, you know, exiling cards is certainly good. Like, there's a lot of really good cards that you want to exile. Like, not only spells like Risk Factor um, or Chemister's Insight, but also um, even creatures against, like, Soul Tie, so they can't find finality on back and, and things like that. So Syncopate ha has its use. Um, yeah, only one Ascanta, that's true. That That's that's a little odd. I'm surprised we're not having another Ascanta for how powerful that card is, but we got we just have one. And I'm a little surprised by, like, the three Thought Erasure for how good of a card that one is. Um, but, yeah, we have the one Niv. Is that, I think the one Niv is good enough. I think Niv is certainly a card that's so powerful that it's probably worth playing as a one of in a in a hard control deck like this. Um we have Cry of the Carnariums in the sideboard. We have Ritual of Sets in the main. Um yes yeah, so we we have the, we do have access to, to those in the sideboard. Our sideboard we have a, a lot of like little uh, little different ones like Murmur Mystic can can su surprise some people. We can hostage taker. We have another Ral, another Eldest Reborn. This is going to be a difficult deck to sideboard with for myself because we have such a wide selection of cards. I'm going to have to really pay attention more with sideboarding. It's going to be a difficult one to sideboard with. And I'm honestly really not upset about any of the numbers that we have. Um, I can see like why our 75 looks like this. And I'm. Uh, I'm certainly excited to see how it uh, plays out. Um, yeah, we don't have Contempt, so we have Bedevil <clears throat> instead. Um, <laughs> you'd put in some lands. Yeah, the lands are back here. Yeah, we have 26 lands in the deck. Uh, looks like we have uh, only two Blood Crypts and then the the rest of the duels and three islands and a mountain. Um so yeah, let's let's give it a try. Grixis control. Yeah. So yeah, if you if you're gonna get the watch for movement, um, please use my referral link. Here you go. Please use that referral link just to get to the site. You know, so they can see that it was referred by me, and then and then also use the coupon code there, Todd Stevens MTG. That gets you fifteen percent off. <clears throat> and doing that should put you should get you a notification up here. Um, I don't know a ton about watches myself. I mean, I I like I like to wear them. This is my nice looking movement watch. It's their classic blue brown. They usually retails. For, they have a retail on there for 110, but you can, of course, use that 15% off. I think it looks really nice myself. I gotta step up my horolary game or horology. Is that that's the study of watches? Our our logy. The H could be silent too. Orology.
the study of time, not just watches. Well, Lava Coil, Lava Coil is usually a good spot to be against aggro. But the opponent playing a Danto Vanguard is pretty rude. Whoa. You have a Christopher Ward watch from a few years ago. Crazy, there are a thousand plus dollars now. Wow. I, did, I do not know anything about Christopher Ward watches, but that sounds like a lot of money. Um, would I run Angrath instead of Ral? I don't know. Not necessarily, like with all, all the spells our opponent's playing and like Chemistry's Insights and stuff. I, not necessarily. I'm, you know, I like Angrath a ton, of course, and, but I'm excited to, to kind of try out like what our opponent's doing over here and their list. I don't think I can just go Lava Coil, pay for life, Lava Coil, pay for life, Ritual of Soot, pay for life. Like that's just not a, a winning strategy. Like, they, they have enough life to pay and they will, especially with the Johnny's Welcome and stuff. We need to find, yeah, so like just wasting these lava coils is not really what we want to be doing. We need to like, you know, find an actual answer. Do I, um, so our deck list, what do we have for like removal that, that gets rid of it? We have two moment of cravings. So that's what we have, two moment of cravings. All right, I'm going to Chemistry's Insight. We also have the creatures that get to block. We have Nicol Bolas, Crackling Drake. Uh, they can block. We have Eldest Reborn as well. So yeah, Moment of Craving would be the best card that we can find off this Chemistry's Insight. Okay. So... The problem with playing Bolas, I'm going to go ahead and coil this thing. The problem with playing Bolas is our opponent could have, could just have a removal spell for Bolas. And then they hit me again for six. I don't, I don't want to take six again. So let's, let's get that three, two out of here and hope they don't play another creature and we get to reborn. So hopefully no creature. All right, no creature. We have been really lucky that our opponent, even though they had turned to a Danto Vanguard, has basically done nothing else. They, like, turned four, they played a 3-2, and haven't done anything else. We have gotten quite lucky in that regard. Ah, a Divine Visitation deck. Nice. I'm gonna Ral. Nope, no Huat lead today, Gatsby. We'll be playing it tomorrow. Mm, decisions, decisions. Need to take the moment. I'll be playing it tomorrow. I went with Naya Legends for the Naya deck today. Wait, I can coil that. Or Ritual of Sit It Away. I, I, I gotta save Moment of Craving. In case there's another Vanguard. Yeah, I'm not the biggest fan of Elvis Reborn. Um, that's the only thing to take. I think it pays a good draw here. Always to go. All right, and Ral is well, almost the wind blows in. at the ultimate. Ooh. 
We're gonna have this syncopate available to protect Rao. So we can just ultimate this Rao real soon. And have Rao take over. Jaegermaster with the MVMT support. Getting that watch through movement. Thank you so much. Enjoy your purchase. Um, also, if you have a so if you have a donation deck, you would like me to play. Uh, you get a, a free donation deck as well. Um, so either you know you can have like your own deck that you'd like me to play, or uh, like somebody did with Quip earlier. They just said, "Hey, I want to see the the Gruel Dinos again." So like if you have if you have a deck that I usually play that you'd like me to see me play, that's an option as well. So just let me know. But thank Choose you very wisely, much. Because the other one's going bye bye. I think we should have the mana to be able to play this and have single paid available. All right, two out of ten now for the movement referrals. Good day on the referrals today. Thank y'all. <laughs> Feel the fury of the tempest. Mm. Discarding a murder, huh? So any instant or sorcery spell, we deal four to the opponent and draw two. It's not a may draw two, it's it's you draw two. Boom. Just kind of have to consider that with milling out and everything. All right, let's get another moment and the cries. Um... I could see House of Shaker doing work in this matchup. I think Syncopate, Negate, cards I don't want. Um, I don't think I really need Expansion Explosion. That one's real slow. I think I want, I want Murmuring Mystic. Another four mana card. Hey, TG. Do I want Murmuring Mystic? I think I do. Yeah, I think I'm cutting Eldest. We saw, like, Eldest do some okay work for us there, but I think we should cut it. Um, it is, like, you know, just another out to Adanta Vanguard. We have even more now, and now we have blockers, and Hostager and Mystic do that, so... This looks okay to me. I don't think I want the last erasure. I don't love Ionize, but I think I would rather have Ionize than these other cards, I think. Oh yeah, we have tons of, we just brought in a bunch of win conditions. Syncopate, I'm worried about them having be able to just pay. Actually, maybe actually seeing our opponent's deck. I'm thinking about more against like an actual like mono white aggro, but they're playing like Mortify and Divine Visitation and stuff. Maybe I should actually have the Syncopates instead of Ionizes. Um, I don't have a, a good taste of deck. All right, cool. Some Naya Legends. All right, what 
Any particular day, Jägermeister, for Nia Legends for you? Scatter. All right, yep, I can get it on the list for tomorrow. Absolutely. Um, all right, and then tomorrow I'm doing noon to seven Eastern time streaming. Um, is there any, any time like, you know, being the first, second, third or fourth deck for tomorrow? That works better for you. That's the other thing. When you when you get their donation deck, you get to pick your time also. Um, I'm just gonna let it resolve. We have like ritual of set and stuff. I I just want to cast the chemistry's inside this turn. I'll pass again. I'll just take a hit. I'll have Ionize available. That was for Jägermeister for uh, the movement. One. Okay, so tomorrow fourth. What, team money? What um, what time do you want your Azorius deck? I know I haven't I haven't checked it out on, I haven't checked out what you said on um, on Discord yet. But you probably told me on Discord. If, if you can, can you just tell me here, and I'll I'll just be able to write it down. What what day and time do you want, uh, the your Azorius deck? Demir midrange did not do good, I don't think. Yeah, we played Demir midrange two days ago, and I, I don't think we did very good with it. Um, hmm. I'll just hostage take this thing. If they want to kill my hostage taker and get their Tasa back, you know, whatever. Okay, Thursday. Yeah, it's definitely easy to do during the 12 hour stream on Thursday. Um, Thursday works for me. Do you have any, oh, you know, like, it'll be kind of like a rough estimate, of course. It won't be like an exact time, but do you have like a kind of a rough, rough estimate of, of a time? You know, I'll be doing 11 to 11 on Thursday. I have not actually made an Abzan Legends yet. No, I actually haven't. Hey, that's awesome, Madman. Good job. I want more lands because I want to be able to play Niv-Mizzet with Counterspell Backup. If possible. Okay, maybe around around eight ish, so evening. Cool. Yeah, that's resolving. Um, that's resolving as well. It does make this pride mate pretty big. But I just have Ritual of Soot to kill the the Pride Mate and the Sky Marcher. The Sky March Blood Letter. I'll just block with that random card. Having patience. I 
I've been doing good, man, man. Doing good. Alright, so 8 p.m. ish for Thursday. There. Okay. Demon Lord Belzen Lock. That's a sweet card. Uh, I didn't, didn't have the counter spell protection for Niv anymore, but I mean, they don't have any cards in hand, and our deck's great. All right, got a win on the first one. Uh, recursive chat. Um, sorry, I just saw your, you know you're talking about the Demir mid range. Um, you should check out the Esper. Um, Esper duplicate deck that we played yesterday. Um, went 5-0 with it. it. It looked pretty impressive, and we played it one other time to a 5-0 as well. Um, it's you know basically Demir. It's you know just plays a little bit of white, not not a whole lot. Um, but you may that may be up your alley. Um, with Esper Duplicate deck, though, I have not played against Sultai or Wilderness Reclamation yet, though. So, I still need to play the deck again. I haven't got paired against either of those, those kind of decks yet. Yeah, I... Yeah, I, I can... I like playing control decks. Control decks are up my alley. This hand obviously is not good against gates. Moment, lava coil, not very good. We have to get like real fortune with this nickel bolus taking over, but it's just not very likely. All our opponent needs is like a circuitous route and then we lose. It's my favorite three color combination. Um. Definitely like green white decks. And then it's either Naya or Bant. Um, I like both of those. Naya's a little more aggressive, Bant's a little more controlling. Those are like my two. Oh, those, those things are just so big. Alright, so I can... I mean, my best chance of probably winning... I mean, I think my best chance of winning is just going like this. Yo, this is certainly risky. But I think this is like my best chance of actually winning. We're going to take a huge hit here. Yeah, unfortunately, Nye Legends, we just ran into a couple... Uh, control decks and you know didn't didn't win either of the t the two matches. Do I think Esper is the best control deck right now? Probably just because of Kai's wrath. So probably. We went for it, you know, if they, they didn't have the sweeper kind of thing, you know, like, we were going to be able to untap and win, most likely, or get real close to it, if not. Or, yeah, no, we, yeah, expansion, yeah, explosion, yeah, we would have had the win. So I went for it. Um, I'm one mana short here. Yeah, one mana short of stabilizing. We can Ritual of Sit Away, the Gatebreaker Ram. Um, and then I needed another mana to be able to like coil plus copy coil. What if I moment a craving? I guess I can moment a craving the gate colossus and just go to one and stay alive for a turn and go to one. 
I guess. Well, the, the pinging was on their turn. And it's just two damage. Pinging Gate Colossus twice doesn't doesn't do a lot for us. I don't know. Our opponent could have... Oh, after Clarion. Oh, right. Oh, yeah, you're right. Oh. No, you're right. Yeah, Clarion... No, I messed that up. I messed that up. I should have pinged the Gate Colossus because of Clarion. I don't know why I was... I didn't really consider their their creatures taking damage <laughs> with the Clarions. Um... So yeah, I, I did mess up. I should have killed that Colossus. Can we draw something for another Colossus? One more 8 8. Can we get something here? Ugh! A little late there. No! We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We can only deal 6 with this Ral. Gay Colossus is too big. Not enough instant sorceries. So, but yeah, I messed up. When they double Clarion, if I just pinged the, the Colossus twice, that would have been better for us. But they would have gotten their other... With how they just played that with the Growth Chamber Guardian and, or the Growth Spiral and stuff, I think that... Yeah, they would have been able to... That very last turn, how they secured us route, if we would have killed their Colossus, they would have put it back on top. Growth Spiral would have drawn it. So they would have had the two eight eights out um, that next turn. So I, I don't know how that would play out. I don't know how the earlier turns would have played out either. All right, disdainful stroke. Eldest reborn. Is eldest reborn even good? Definitely want all of those. Yeah, Elder Reborn's probably good. Yeah, Syncopate's probably not going to counter stuff, is it? Does Exile, which is good. It's just likely our opponent's just going to be able to pay for Syncopate, right? Like, with all the mana that they have. I kind of want to take out Ritual of Set. Even though Set's good against uh, the Krasis and the Ram, just because I'm bringing in my Thief of Sanities. Do we have enough removal and everything if I do that? I mean, I guess it's just Lava Coil out, Soot in. Lava Coil doesn't actually kill stuff. I'm going to play two Soot. The target the green creature with Niv and then coil expansion the Colossus and just keep the soot. Man, why can't we have two lands? Love having Thought Erasure, Essence Scatter, Disdainful Stroke, and, and Escanta. Man, if we just had a second land. I can't keep it though.
Yeah, this is just not a matchup for us, of course. Um, yeah, you say we have to be super aggro in this matchup, which we're not. Like, we're, I mean, which our deck just isn't. You know, like, it's just so hard for our deck to be super aggro. Um, you know, Grixis doesn't have answers to enchantments. If they have a guild summit, it's like just game over. It's just quite a tough matchup for us. Especially Gate Colossus, how it keeps coming back. Hydro Crisis draws a million cards. Kind of all their cards are just good. Ours not as much. Say so Grixis can never be, can never play Grixis Control because of Reclamation Guild Summit. I don't like statements like that. I don't like definitive statements of things like never and there. Like control decks are just you're going to be like control decks are usually not very good against something in the format. Um, but saying stuff like you can never play it. Not so sure about that. So, Eldritch Reborn costing so much mana is a problem. Okay, good. If that got countered, we would be in a rough spot. I wouldn't have minded if my opponent counter that and then we get to Eldritch Reborn and sack it and start trying to get their 8-8. Eight, eight. Like, I really need this Eldritch Reborn's third chapter to get their 8-8. Eight, eight. Yes, Disdainful Stroke counters uh, Gate Colossus, yes, because Gate Colossus still has... The CMC is still 8 for it. Um, yes, Grixis does struggle with enchantments, and it is it is weak against enchantments, yes. Um, that doesn't mean it, it has no answers to them, though. Um... But I do think you need to adapt your deck with those things in mind. Like for example, with my with my Grixis control deck, like Grixis discard that I play a lot. Wow. Wow. Syncopate. 
That's, I don't think I've ever seen that in a Gates deck. Obviously, I could have just played my land and played around that. That was not something that was on my radar at all. Um, anyway, I guess I was talking about the Grixis deck before. It's just have to be, like, a lot more proactive against that stuff. That's why I have in the deck just four Duresses, Negates, Thought Erasures, and Thief of Sanity you know, after sideboard. And you just try to go under, like, those enchantment decks. Well, so you're saying keep disdainful for the eight eight. By the by, that other card that resolved uh, by this thing resolving, it gives them the eight eight. By this thing resolving, they get an eight eight. Because uh, then, because they didn't have the previous turn, they didn't have a gate. Uh, that card does give them give them the gates to be able to get the the eight eight. One. Don't have a creature. Okay, good. Not a creature. Last card, don't have a creature or anything. Just have just have nothing, please. Please have nothing. Alright, Nickel Bowls can can really help us here. The multiverse is you shall taste. Real pain. And then Nickel Bulls can start drawing a bunch of cards. Oh, come on. Come on. Can't beat Banefire. I don't even, I can't even grab their 8-8. Essence scatter now. I know what must be done. Okay, there we go. Um, how big are you? A nine four? So I mean, I can flip the I can flip this nickel bolus and shoot the gate colossus. Um, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And Bedevil. So I can do that and Bedevil, or I can just Crackling Drake and Bedevil. Um, if I if I Crackling Drake Bedevil, then the Drake's just blocking the Gate Colossus. I think that's okay. This does mean... If I attack here, they draw a removal spell, I die. Oh, I just just Bedevil right now, because now, now that they just drew Negate, I die. I just need to cast this during my turn. Okay, they didn't draw Negate. The, yeah, the Ram we were killing, because the Ram has Trample. Alive. 
Yeah, or syncopate. We've seen them have multiple of. I always have an answer. But I think we got this now. Nicol Bolas the Arisen has taken over. Has arisen. We know their their draw is just Gate Colossus. So I'm just going to Eldest Reborn it next turn. Get more power on the battlefield. That was a great game. Should I be hostage taking their stuff? Is hostage taker like a thing I want to do? I should have paid that to you life. Um, taker is great against crisis. <laughs> Jelly with the bits. Thanks for the cheers. Um, so we've seen them have Bane Fire. Bane Fire. I don't know what I'm supposed to be taking out. All these cards are pretty reasonable. Rao, I guess, doesn't necessarily kill their things, but Rao is really good card advantage. Um,. Expansion copying their thing is like the best. Like we're not really need to expansion copy our things too much. I guess well they they're probably in a gate deck also actually. I should expansion keep expansion. Maybe not hostage taker. Hostage taker is just so good against crisis, and it can be fine against ram later. I don't know. Let's go one row one hostage taker. Let's do that. This is this list is not a list is not my list. Um, you see here, this is a donation deck. Um, this was a, another person's list. So like, why why lava coil or cast down or why ionize over sabotage? Don't have the best answers now. What what I believe the answers to both those like, I honestly like. Um, I don't know if I was supposed to keep this. I was kind of talking and realized this is a really slow hand. Um, I myself like Lava Coil because of how... I, re I really think that um, exiling is really important. And... Come on. I did not have an answer to that card. That was the... The one card I was just hoping I was like, please don't have it, please don't have that card, and that's what, so that's why I played Sulfur Sulfur Falls instead of Watery Grave last turn is because I wanted to represent a little bit of strength, hoping the opponent wouldn't play the Guild Summit, but they did. And then yeah, the Ionize is just going to be easier to cast on the mana. That one, that one's an easier one to to know. Um, Guild Summit's going to be tough. I would rather save Nicol Bolas for the late game and have Crackling Drake early, but Crackling Drake being a 0-4 is just not a, a card to play right now. Especially when my next turn is a better than average chance my next turn is Eldest Reborn. Not even an or Sorcery. Yeah, if we would have had Syncopate specifically, like, Syncopate's awesome on turn two. Yeah, we could add Syncopate for Guild Summit on turn two. The problem is, is, like, basically all the turns after that, you know, like, we go later on in the game, drawing Syncopate's later on in the game. Um, 
our gates opponent that's deck is built around having lots of mana will likely be able to um likely be able to play around Secapate. Oh yeah, maybe I could have yeah, actually Mike, I probably should have shocked it in, you're right. Just honestly the turn two I probably should just shock. Um to shocking shows even more strength. Yeah, I think shocking would have been a better play. Um Fight Insight. Crackling Drake goes to a, a one power. Hit him down to all the way down to twenty five. Put a real fast clock on him. Crackling Drake counts Exile also, so even though that was exiled with Syncopate. It's never gonna stop coming. Got the guild summit combo. I should play the the blood crypt probably last turn. Maybe Crackling Drake's the card I should have sideboarded out. For that extra Hostage Taker and Ral. Certainly would have rather had Hostage Taker and Ral this game. Either one over Crackling Drake. Dang, one mana off of flipping Nicol Bolas and having Ionize available. Um, I am flipping Bolas, though. So I just don't get to have Ionize available. This power is incredible. I think you ought to die. So I do not want that 8-8 eight eight on the battlefield. We saw our opponent have Banefire last turn. Um, three, six, nine, ten. They're they're looking at Banefire for ten right now. Uh, cleansing Nova. Oh, that angel is really annoying. Can't kill that with Ritual of Soot. Wow, that's that's a really annoying angel. Um, can, can Niv race Colossus? Not likely. So if I, if I have Nicobolus kill Colossus, then Angel kills Nicobolus, and then where am I at? Nowhere. Um, so I'm going to just go ahead and get Niv. Death and use it as a card advantage engine. Alright, so what chemistry's insight deals three damage?
That was a waste of some damage. We're gonna draw anything else to do. That was a waste. Should just wait till their turn. That was just a waste. Of three damage. I'm not gonna canvassers again. I'm gonna have ionize up. I should have at least targeted them with the last two. Please don't have Bane Fire. I should at least hit them with the last two after, after noticing I wasn't going to find anything. Uh. Uh, we would have been able to kill the Gate Colossus with Explosion the next turn. And have ionize available. We were going to be able to explosion kill the, the Colossus and still have ionize the next turn. Yeah, I should have hit Erasure. Yeah, Angel on Erasure Ping. I didn't play that turn particularly well, but... Old Banefire. I guess I'm just casting Moment of Craving on their end step. The Grixis discard is... is definitely a Grixis control deck. That is a very heavy control deck. I like it quite a bit. That thing doesn't kill very quickly. I'm not going to scatter that thing. Um, I think Terramander and Tempest Gen are the things that I'm most scared of that I want to scatter. Oh, I don't, I don't, my, my Grixis deck does not have, is not Freebooter and Thief. I have an Esper deck that has Freebooter and Thief. I don't have those cards in my Grixis deck. Well, I have Thief in the sideboard. Hey, we have an anonymous gifter gifting out some subs. So, Panos 110, Colonel JD Bieber. And. Uh, Vanch Patch, um, with the tier one subs there. So let's get some hype in the channel for our anonymous gifter, gifting out some subs. Thank you so much. That's three subs, so that gets us to 11. So that means we will be cracking a pack here. Gotten to our sub goal. So 
We're at two right now. Right, that fire off. It's kind of telling me they don't have a dive down or anything like that, but got our fourth land. Let's play Nicol Bolas. Start emptying their hand. Now we have a lot faster clock than them. Eight lands. That's a lot for Mono Blue. Uh, no, folks, I'm not. And we just insight next turn. Yeah, they're the one with all the lands. You know, they have four extra lands than us, and we have four extra cards in our hand. <laughs> Live quip. Just having me brush my teeth. They, the wizards, wizards lightning. My chemistry's in sight. All right. Live your life. Oh, a live quip ad. Oh, okay, sorry. Donate for, for what, powerhouse? Oh, yeah, brushing my teeth. Gotcha. Just never stop brushing teeth. That's what, that's what happens when you have all islands in your deck. You get a little flooded. Let's have this moment. Cry, Nagate, Taker, Mystic. <laughs> Thanks, Skyrio. Skyrio. Ska, Rio. There we go. Let's go, Ska. Um. All right, reborn out. Rowl out. Expansion's fine. Syncopate out. Inside out. Inside out. But faith in nothing. Is Mystic even that good? Do I want Murmuring Mystic? Nah. I think by the time Murmuring Mystic, like, if it resolves and then is doing its thing, I don't know. Could just, like, make, like, some chump blockers, but then at that point, like, by the time it resolves, do we have other... Do we still have spells in our deck? At that point, and... I don't know, it's out. Oh, man, I would love some fajitas. Chicken beef fajitas? Absolutely. So, we don't know... We don't know if Arena will ever come to mobile. It looks like it's most likely not. Um, it'd be kind of a surprise if it does, honestly. Um, so, Wizards has, has not definitively said that it will not come to mobile. 
as far as I am aware. But it's a pretty unlikely scenario. Yeah, and and Powerhouse has it right there of like the, the problems with it. It's uh, kind of too much going on in like the whole game and everything and the stack and all that kind of stuff to be fit on, on a little phone screen. Oh, I need to get Naya Legends is uploaded, ready to go. I should probably fill in all the info for the YouTube video and everything like that. There. All right, what are we doing? Let's play this for Ionize. Last turn. Play this thing to use my mana. here. Hmm. Obsession, retort, capture. So I could take Retort, I could leave them with Obsession, they put it on here, they have a 5-5, five, five. next turn I have Cry plus Moment to kill it. Um, then they, they get two draw steps to try to protect their thing. Or I just take the Obsession, but then they have a 4-4 four, four where they have Retort back up. And 4-4 four, four with Retort back up is just not, not a good spot for me. So they get their two draw steps. Oh, Cry plus Moment doesn't kill. Why was I thinking this was three? Hmm. I was thinking Cry was three. I guess I was just thinking mana-wise, I, I guess. Well, we need to draw a removal spell. It's still better than letting them have that and the counter spell. Because I couldn't... Beating the counter spell was going to be tough. I just really wanted it to be three. I still don't think it's a punt. I, I don't think... I mean, I think that... Um, beating Wizards Retort was going to be really hard. All right, removal spell. says uh gruel dinos wednesday last deck actually uh joy so all right ritual of soot ritual of soot come on ritual of soot Ugh. 
Ritual of Soot would have been so nice. What is this Cryth Carnarium doing in my deck? Um, now it's really Cry the Carnarium is kind of like the the card that I've been so disappointed with against against Mono Blue, honestly. Oh, get this other Thought Erasure in there. Do I want Murmuring Mystic or Ionize or maybe Insight? I think I'm just I'm just pretty off of. Cry the Carnarium against Mono Blue. I, I've tried this card a, a, a good amount against Mono Blue, and it just always kind of seems to do stuff like that. Um, so, Joy, uh, we had uh, earlier today, somebody ordered Quip, and for their donation deck, they said Gruel Dinos uh, third on Wednesday. So I already have third on Wednesday, Wednesday Gruel Dinos, actually. Um, I guess I'm playing Murmuring Mystic. Um, <laughs> yeah, I could do it back to back. So, uh, do you want you want to do like another day? You want to do like Friday, um, Thursday, Thursday during the twelve hour stream, Friday. All right, got done removal spells. All right, back to back girl dinos. All right, guess that's what we got. Um, let's have a moment of craving up. I have a Naya Dinos deck. I could play Naya Dinos. My Naya Dinos, of course, is more like mid rangey and stuff. Bigger deck. So I could do I could do Naya Dinos and then Gruel Dinos. Nice, good job, Varok. Farouk. Hey Elder Two. No, I don't have any plans for a visitation deck at all. Right now, I, d I don't have any visitation decks. That I'm in, that I have that I'm in love with. Um, they just go into discard. Looks like they may just be moving to discard. They don't want to keep their. They don't want to have their counter magic down. Drawing a land was perfect here, so we could have like a moment of craving for uh, a flashed in trickster. While still. Um, having ionize up. All right, we get to resolve Bolas. That's all I wanted to do. All right, so um, where's my pen? This one. All right, so I'm gonna do I'm gonna do the Naya Dinos Wednesday third, and then Gruel Dinos fourth. So we'll have we'll have Dinos back to back there on Wednesday. Go, Bull, let's go. All 
And our opponent's just forced to kind of start throwing there. Tempest Jin's out there. <laughs> Jeff Goldblum will be watching. Only one instant so far. I guess my opponent was trying to play under my counter spell, which is why they played the trickster there. <clears throat> this Terramanders is not not close at all to adapting. I don't need to worry about it. I don't need to like even try to lava coil it or anything. Our opponent had three untapped mana. I like m making them waste their mana. Um, I'll negate that. Hmm. Why well, can't I have one more mana and just expansion it and just explosion this thing for one? All right, they get their random card. I'll just coil this Terramander next turn. They can draw one card. And they're down to four. Yeah, Veruk, you can. Yep. Bolus makes our opponent self-destruct. Good job, Bolus. All right, two and one. Um, oh, just by casting ionize on him. This is a keep. We got the scry. We really want to find like a, you know, like a watery grave um, or a blood crypt. I mean, I, I'm not in the position to ditch the drowned catacomb. Cause it is certainly important, but you know, like we need the black mana, but it's, you know, we're going to be a little bit behind. So if y'all didn't notice, tomorrow's stream is going to be... Hmm. This card is good. We don't have the mana yet, but... Um, Elder Shiborn, make them sack and get back Find Broker, and then Find Broker getting back Elder Shiborn. Could be pretty sweet. Um, double find broker. I was so so happy I was taking this find broker. Another one. So tomorrow's stream, we're starting early. We're going noon to seven Eastern instead of three to ten. Just for tomorrow, you know, other days we'll be doing 3 to 10. So, like, Wednesday will be 3 to 10 again. Thursday we're doing a 12-hour stream because we got to our first quip goal. Ugh. Kind of needed a land by now. That's why I ditched that. Essence Scatter, even though it's a good card here. Thankfully, the opponent is very impatient. If they just held on to that, I would have been in trouble. 
But now we get to actually play the Searcher's Canto. Hey, Night Owl, thanks for the gifts. Oh, we didn't get a pack earlier, actually. So we have two packs now to go get. Night Owl gets it out for sub. Yukine, Crimson Rum, Vakto Milka, and Dewey getting all of those subs. Everybody get your hype votes in the channel for the wonderful Night Owl. Santa Night Owl gifting out the subs. Where's my Santa emotes? There we go. This has been an unfortunate game for us, mana-wise. I can't even cast this Bedevil. Alright, going to game two. So they're playing a bunch of fine brokers, huh? Um, this is what Syncopate can do is can exile their thing, um, which could be beneficial. I'm taking out Expansion Explosion because I don't think the Expansion part is going to be so good. I guess, I mean, Explosion's a really good late game card, though. can help us get those those extra cards. I, don't, I, I mean, I don't want Syncopate. It's going to be hard for us to actually counter stuff with Syncopate. We have a good amount of card advantage. We don't need Explosion. Yeah, I took one of the two Cravings out. I do like Craving um, Lanowar Elf. Um, and also can get the Explore creatures. But honestly, with them having Find Brokers, maybe I should just be taking both out. But we're I'm keeping one in. Mesmerizing Benthid. That's fun to say. See, and certainly better on the play than on the draw. Ionize is kind of too slow on the draw. All right, getting the Naya Legends YouTube video ready to go. Um, I'm going to counter that because it's going to make my Eldest Reborn better. Contempt and Vivian. But they only have three mana. So I wish I would have played Nicol Bolas if I knew that you know if I knew that they had another Thought Erasure in hand. Would have liked to get the Nicol Bolas out of my hand before that. Um, maybe they'll discard Vivian with only having three lands. And we can get Vivian back with Eldest Reborn. I'm not going to let them know that, that we have that.
Yep, there you go, Sam. Yeah, so that, that's how you can find it. If you want to see the video of the deck as well, it's up on the YouTube channel. Only one red source. It's not really enough sources for Crackling Drake. What'd they discard? Another Thought Erasure? If I Thought erasure to weigh their Thought Erasure, you would... That's kind of telling my opponent that I don't want you to cast this spell next turn. And yet they still cast Wild Growth Walker instead of the Thought Erasure. Alright, I'm fine with third moment out. Um, and get an expansion in here. All right, can we win a game on the draw um, against Value Laden, Sultai, or sorry, Golgari? No, it is Sultai because they had Thought Erasure. Um, yeah, with a bunch of fine brokers and stuff. The game on the draw is a tough one. Um, our counter spells just don't line up as well. Um, you know, our spells just kind of in general don't. Um, so yeah, like this this deck isn't isn't my own with it being the the donation deck, but Phoenix is a so so the question is why not play two Phoenix instead of two Drake? That's the question. Um, Phoenix is a very aggressive card. This deck is a very defensive deck. Um, so putting putting like the aggressive card in the defensive deck is kind of like you know, square peg, round hole kind of thing. Just doesn't doesn't fit. Um, Crackling Drake, though, does play good defense with the four toughness. It replaces itself with the card draw, and it can also end the game quickly. I have not played a Bant Vanifar deck yet, Sculpted Mind. Um, if you had a Bant Vanifar deck that you would recommend, I would certainly be willing to check it out and maybe give it a run, because that, that does sound pretty fun. I like Bant decks, um, and I like creatures. Midnight Reaper. That card's good against Ritual of Sit. And it's just drawing lands here is not what we need. We didn't need back-to-back -back land draws after our opponent's Thought Erasure there. Would have preferred something like Crackling Drake. Maybe our opponent doesn't have a removal spell in their hand. Certainly no Vivian, right? Hooray, no Vivian. Ooh, they're looking at their graveyard. Find finality. If their last two cards are land, find finality. That'd be good for us. Start playing Arena two weeks ago. Been really enjoying the Golgari, Graveyard, and Simic Adapt deck lists. Love the stream, very informative. Thank you. Also, the content on YouTube is awesome. Well, thanks, Player4. Well, thank you. Glad to have you here. Pietro di Pietra. Interesting username. It's fun to say. All right, so there's the find. Gets back Reaper. Did not have the ability to 
All right, play that last land they know about. Didn't have the ability to essence scatter the Reaper. There for how they played it. Yeah, they, they attacked because they wanted to be able to just cycle, basically. They wanted to, to draw. Same thing. See if they have another fine finality. Probably looking for an answer to Nicol Bolas. You're looking for a removal spell. Deck, come on. That's bad. They found a removal spell. I I really needed to have Nickel Bowls flip the next turn. I'd like to draw Chemist's Insight. Chemist's Insight would be a good one. <laughs> oh, deck. Crackling Drake, Nicol Bolas, Niv Mizzet, Ral, Hostage Taker. Counselor's Insight, like I said. Take any of those. Alright, we'll do Fear to Monkey. Okay. I belong with you. You belong with me. That's we want to save the devil in case our opponent has like a Vivian um, or something else like that. No. What do they have? They have Midnight Reaper. Yeah, Midnight Reaper. Ugh. Deck, why do you do this? We just get one Chemist's Insight. Just one. All right, so I mean, I think I just probably fire this thing off. Um, you know, want to fire this off before they play like a Midnight Reaper and everything, and might as well try to keep our life total um, at a reasonable amount. We do have an explosion in the deck right now. Explosion would be that would be a great draw. I did put I put one back in over the moment of craving for game three here. Wow. Took the branch walker. I just want to be able to play this turn. On explosion. In the sky. Explosions in the sky. I oh, nice. I should probably keep the island in case we draw Chemister's Insight. Man. If we draw Chemister's Insight and then they're both spells that I don't want to discard to flash it back. I like where my life is. I'm instead just playing the lands out because of explosion and Niv Mizzet and I don't know. Other things that cost mana. And another land. So many lands. Hmm. 
Fine broker, why do you kill us? Real estate Grixis. <laughs> Yeah, we're dead. We are dead. I wish you could check like the top cards of our library. But, you know, we can't do that. Uh, that the last card was our twentieth card. So we had we had twelve lands of the nineteen cards before. So I don't know. I don't. Hey, you can stop. Um, I don't necessarily like blame. You know, like that's just like unfortunate mana mana things. It's not like there was like a hole in the deck. Um, in that because like honestly we have a good amount of card advantage. You know like. Like, one Chemist's Insight can really just change that. And, you know, we had the three of those. We still had the explosion. We had one of the two explosions. We still had the Niv. I put an extra Ral in the, in the deck. So, you know, if we would have drawn the extra, like, either of the two Rals, that's some good card advantage as well. <clears throat> you had to cut 15 lands. <laughs> we don't have to check the top cards. They're all lands. <laughs> yeah. And anyway, we got into two sub goals there. We got our two packs. Let's crack them open. Um, let's see if we get. So Ravnica Allegiance. I have all the rares. So we're hoping to get a mythic. We don't want a rare. Rares are just twenty gems. Dang. And that's, you know, it's usually mythics are like one out of eight packs. So it's pretty likely that we're gonna get twenty gems on both of these. But let's check. So that's a twenty gemmer, and. It's not a 20 gemmer. Hey, look at that. Okay. So it's either a mythic or a wild card. Awesome. Ooh, a mythic. Emergency powers. There we go. I'll take it. That's a that's a good pack. Good pack there. Yeah, so overall I kind of liked our deck. Um I, you know, so the the donator of the deck, um, you know, certainly played the deck a lot more than I have, and they maybe have a different plan against, like, Golgari slash Sultai than, you know, maybe they sideboard a little bit differently, like, maybe they keep in the syncopates, you know, you know, kind of thing, just, it's hard to say, um... I am not that big of a fan of syncopate, especially, like, in games that go long like that, I don't really like it. I don't know, um, but overall, the I liked the deck. I mean, the chemistry's insights when we did draw them were were pretty sweet. Um, got some, got to keep refilling our hand and everything, and we were real close to beating Gates there. Uh, real close to beating Gates on the back of Nickel Bolas. Um, but Insight does help you hit those land drops to be able to get to like Bolas flip and and so on. Um, Yeah, we have like a lot of kind of different cards in our board, which we didn't get to really use too much, but there's some good cards. Ooh, Hostage Shaker would have been a good draw. Man, think if we would have drawn Hostage Shaker, taken that Golgari Fine Broker, cast the Golgari Fine Broker, get back our Nickel Bolas. That would have been cool. But. Yeah, so a little bit different take on on Grix's control than than uh, what I usually play, and and I'm, I'm glad we glad we tried out. Essence Scatter was pretty nice. It was nice having access to Essence Scatter. That was pretty nice. Bolus was exiled by contempt, wasn't it? Hmm, that's a very good point. So I probably could not have gotten it back with Find Broker. Depends on how good of a negotiating broker Find Broker is, and if the opponent would have accepted that. But most likely, he wouldn't have got it back. Um, all right, so that's Grix's Control. So if you're watching this video later on on YouTube, don't forget to hit that subscribe button over there. Um, and thanks for watching. I'll see you for the next video.